بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد هي أول السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear viewers, Islam is not just a religion but a complete way of life. Islam came to teach us everything we need to know. There was nothing good except that Islam taught us about it. And there was nothing bad except that Islam warned us against it. And it is with this introduction that it's not strange that Islam taught us about the importance of good friends. It's not strange at all. Our beloved Prophet وسلم, spoke to his companions about this. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his book speaks about this as well. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu attaqullaha wa kunu ma'as sadiqeen. He addresses the believers. He addresses the believers. He says, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu. O oh, you who believe. And as the companions of our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us, whenever we read the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we come across this particular ayah, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu attaqullaha where God Almighty is addressing the believers, then immediately you as a believer should pay attention. Should open your ears and open your eyes and be upright and be prepared to listen to what comes next. For after this particular statement is either a command towards something and a command necessitates obligation or a command against something. So what has Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded the believers in this particular ayah? He says, Kunu sadiqin He says, ensure that you choose a truthful friend circle. You remain with those that are truthful. Now, for those who ponder over this ayah, in the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we see clearly an instruction towards choosing a good friend circle. Because a praiseworthy friend circle is that friend circle that has honest, truthful people in it. So this is the first point. The second point is what we find in the Sunnah. Where our beloved Prophet wasallam shared with us a wonderful parable. A wonderful analogy. He told his companions wasallam that the example of a person who has a good friend is like a person who has a friend that sells perfume. When you go visit this perfume seller and you remain in his company, then it just may be that he is so generous and he offers you a bottle of perfume. Thus you benefit from him in a big way. And if he's not that generous, then he would take out some of his own perfume and offer you to use some. Thus you have still benefited. It might not be equal to the benefit in the first circumstance. However, you have still benefited and you still would have the ability to smell nice. And if he's not that generous, then by just visiting him and being in his company and being in the surroundings of this perfume shop, then at least the scent of the shop will rub onto your clothes and when you leave this place whoever meets you will know where you came from why because you have still benefited from this environment even if there was no real tangible physical benefit in the form of you receiving a gift in the form of perfume or you being offered some perfume to use just remaining in that environment had a good effect on you so this is the example of a person who has a good friend if you remain in a good friend circle, then you stand to either benefit in a big way or benefit in a slightly lesser way or just benefit in merely being in that particular friend circle. Why? Because that good friend circle are people who encourage truthfulness. They encourage you to remember the hereafter. They encourage you to remember good values and that which Islam has taught. And even if they don't instruct you directly, then it just may be that the content of discussion within that circle are these points and by the way, you benefited from it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a good friend circle. Then 
our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went on and he described an evil friend circle and the evil effects of having bad company. He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that a person who engages in having friends who are evil and have bad character and bad qualities, then he is like a person who takes a friend who is an iron smelter. His job is to spend his day by the blast furnace smelting iron. When you go visit this friend, if you're very close to him and you're standing close to the blast furnace, then what will happen? A spark will come out of this furnace and burn your clothes. Thus you have lost in a great way. And if you decide to be careful, you say, look, I know that these are dangerous waters that I'm treading here. I will still visit this friend, but I will stay far away from the blast furnace. Then in this circumstance, we are taught that the, the, the black smoke will attach itself to our clothes and our pure clothes will become spoiled. So our sp clothes have not become burnt, however, they have become spoiled. And if you say, look, I know this is bad company, but I will still engage in attending the gatherings of this particular company. However, I will be extremely cautious. I will stand by the door, for example. Then we are taught that if you visit your friend who smells iron and you stand right at the entrance of his presence, then understand that the fumes and toxins in the air will be breathed by you by default. You have to breathe. These fumes will be breathed and you still stand to lose. Here Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam teaches us that having a bad friend circle entails loss, either in a big way or in a small way, but the net result is loss. The net result is harm. And this is a message to all our parents to speak to our children, to guide them with regards to this all-important concept of choosing good friends for our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, المرؤ على دين خليله that a person is upon the way of his or her friend. This is the short message I leave you with. I pray it's beneficial. Everything correct said is from God Almighty and He's perfect and any mistakes are from myself and shaitan and I seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.